quick disclaimer, these garage cabinets were given to me for my honest review. Here is a quick unboxing so that you know what to expect when you receive and open this product. These cabinets will come in two different boxes. One will contain the larger cabinet and the other one will contain the smaller cabinet as you can see here. This is everything that came in each of the boxes which includes hardware, planks, and instruction manuals. So the manuals are very easy to follow with these exploded diagrams. Step number one is placing the hardware. Step number two is placing the board as indicated in the figure and use this hardware here which should look something like this. Next you will build the two panels on either side which will look something like this when it is completed. Next you will install the back panel that opens up like so and then you will slide it into the grooves in the back of the cabinetry. Then similar to step number one you will install the side panel by simply installing the hardware and sliding in place like so. Don't forget to use the wooden pegs to give the cabinetry more stability. Once panels are in place simply tighten with a screwdriver or if available grab an impact driver. One of the easiest steps is to slide the actual shelf in place simply by installing the pegs and sliding the shelf onto the slotted grooves on the bottom of the panel. Next, you want to grab the hardware for the doors, line them up in the grooves of the doors, and gently hammer them down in place. The last step involves installing the handle for the door, which come purposely unfinished just in case you want to use different type of hardware. So they recommend you use some tape and a drill bit to complete the holes. Now you can install the door handle. They even provide black stickers so that you can cover up the hardware. Now, here is the completed cabinetry. It also has slow closing hardware for a higher end feature and the handles look great on the glossy black cabinetry. Once completed, the dimensions for the cabinets are 54 inches wide and 20 inches tall, which is much needed space to help clear out the garage clutter. And the shelf heights are also adjustable and give you a 9 inch clearance when centered perfectly. I hope this video was helpful.